Welcome everyone to activate iPhone 15 Pro Max. If you see this hello screen, the iPhone isn't activated. So the first step is we're going to swipe up from the bottom and then we will need to select our country or region. And from here, we can set the appearance. I'm gonna leave as default. We see the quick start. And if you have your old iPhone, and you bring it next to each other, then you can transfer the Wi-Fi passwords and your Apple account. But I'm personally going to select set up without another device. If you plan on activating eSIM, you must connect to a Wi-Fi network. If you plan on inserting a physical SIM card to make sure activation works well, insert the SIM card now. In my case, I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi. Once we are connected, it is now going to do the activation. This is a check to see if there is an iCloud account or an Apple account which was previously linked to this iPhone. If there was, it will ask you to enter in the old information and you would need to enter that one in. If you don't know the old information, then you will need to return this iPhone as it may be stolen or the old seller may have forgotten to remove their old account. If they forgot to remove their old account, ask the seller to remove it. If they can't remove it, get the phone returned. It's asking to do a software update. Let's select update later. And then we'll agree to the privacy. And it's asking us to set up our iPhone. Let's set up for myself. We'll set up Face ID later. And we're just going to set up the phone until we see the eSIM screen. Which I'm not seeing. So I'm going to keep on going through. What on earth is going on? Now it's discussing the data and privacy, and we just need to follow the on-screen instructions until we see this screen. This is the screen, set up mobile service or set up cellular service. This is where you activate your eSIM. So you can do the transfer from nearby iPhone, or if you have a QR code for your eSIM, you can scan it. When you activate your eSIM, and I have a dedicated tutorial on how to do this in the description if you aren't exactly sure of the process. If your iPhone is carrier locked and your eSIM is not supported on your iPhone, then the activation will stop and you will get an error message saying your SIM card is not supported. However, if your SIM card is supported, your phone number will be added to your iPhone. There will be no errors. And then if we just continue setting up and we go to the home screen here, when we see this, welcome to iPhone. Once you have verified that you have activated eSIM or inserted the SIM card, we can swipe up to get started. Your iPhone is now successfully activated. There's no SIM card locks, which are blocking you from activating. There's no old Apple lock, which is blocking you from activating. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.